your phone, it's going to cancel it. So you I can't, can't switch. I can't switch over while I'm here. I don't think so. Like it'll lose signal and then reconnect. It'll be a whole new video at that point. We're good. Man, the phone is in the hotel. We're gonna roll with it, man. All right, we're talking about um, these points today, right? Right here. Oh, tight. Yeah. That's right. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot them to you, and we're gonna get rolled with. We already got 10 people watching, my brother. What's going on, Roundup family? Roundup family, what's up? And my brother, good morning, my brother. Hey, brother, how you doing? Man, I'm blessed, but I can't see you. I see your screen. Okay. How about now? How y'all doing today, class? What's going on? You should be, everybody said you should be a part-time model. You and Eddie, both of <laughs> you guys are like, model, you guys. The thing is, you're the only one with the Boris Kojo comments. <laughs> Roundupers, Roundupers, my Roundup family. Welcome to Friday. Ask a Hask, as you can see, I'm live right here in the DW in the Disney World. I hope you can see me. I'm hanging out at All Star Music Resort. Check it out. We got the pool. As you can see, they got Mickey and wow, other characters right in the middle of the pool. You can see back there, there's a resort, there's a pool here. And it's just amazing. If you if you notice here, life, larger than life, saxophone player, and my favorite, my trumpet player over there. But it's so cool, Ronnie, all-star music. It's just magical. So, so <clears throat> Ronnie, today in our goal, our mission, to raise the financial literacy with seven, seven bullets. Right? You're real choppy, man. It's, it's choppy. I'm having a hard time here. Also. Well, today we want to talk about seven core values of how you can control who's in your room. And that's what we're going to discuss today. I'm having a hard time keeping up with Chris, but um, he's at a pool in Florida and I can see him working on his feed. So as soon as he gets that figured out, we can talk here in a little bit. I'm sorry, guys. How's that, Ron? Is that any better? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you now. I think I had this thing on, dude. I had this. Anyway, I had this problem on. Uh, we're good now. Okay. <clears throat> who's in your room? The seven ways to attract better people, Ronnie. Give me your what, who's in your room. Give me a quick one on that and who that came from. So Dr. Ivan Meisner is the founder of Business Networking International, BNI, uh, the website. You can check it out in BNI. Uh, you can Google it. You can find out all kinds of stuff about BNI in your town. Ivan Meisner wrote a book called Who's in Your Room? And that book is basically describing to you, in your imagination, you have one room of your life with a door that only opens to the inside. You are in control of that door. And so as you're building your teams and you're chasing your dreams and you're doing all these things in your life, you just have to control who comes in that room with you and make sure that they're uh, mutually uh, beneficial for each of your lives. That's how you can grow your business, your relationships, your all of the things that matter to move you to the next level of your life. That's what we're talking about. Nice. All right. So we've got seven steps to Ivan. Is it Meisner or Misner, Ronnie? Meisner. Meisner. Yeah, I, I was researching. I'm, I'm so glad you introduced me to that, man. That's why I love talking to you. I get to learn shit that I don't normally look into. <laughs> I get to learn how you hang out at the pool. <laughs> you know what? All thanks to this is all thanks to real estate. I can uh, and to my to my roundup family, guys. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you, thank you. All right, the first one we talked about, Ronnie. Let me go ahead. You want me to go ahead and run it down, and you gonna knock it out? Absolutely. Go ahead. G Givers gain. Givers gain. Break that down for me, Ronnie. How does that work? Giver's gain is the 
It's the fundamental. It's the fundamental core value of BNI. This is totally Ivan Meisner's concept. His totally his deal. And we all think about we're living a giver's gain life. You learn it in church. You know, give is better than to receive, and all of these things. But seriously, when you're growing your business, the more you can give to another business person or one of your your subs or your contractors or whatever, the more you can give, then eventually the more you will receive. Doesn't happen right away, but the the magic is giving from the heart and not worrying about what you're going to get back. So the more people you help throughout your journey in this life, you can't outgive that. You're going to receive much more than you could possibly ever imagine. So like that's that. the first concept, giver's game. What do you got for that, Chris? You know what's so crazy? About a year ago, uh, I, I was doing YouTube since two. I was looking back at my thing since 2009. But about a year ago, I finally took Edmund Pagan's advice. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just start to just give everything I know about real estate. And it was like my my life just took off like a rocket ship, man. The more I gave, it's like the more I gained. It's absolutely true. And in real estate, the more you help out motivated sellers or people that want to sell their house, the more money you make. I love it. I love it. Fantastic. Good point. Uh, all right. Let me see. Number two, building relationships. Building relationships. We got to get into that, Ronnie, because a lot of relationships we talked about earlier are draining instead of uplifting. So specifically when you're talking about business, relationships are, you know, when you're talking with a client, Chris, you have transactional skills and you have relationships. You know, probably not really check but you know, relationships. Okay. So you don't want to live a life of transactions. Transactions are just like when we go to Starbucks, order a cup of coffee, and we drive right out the door. Yeah. One time. It's a one time deal. So you want to build a relationship based on Ivan Meisner of not a mile wide and an inch deep. You want to build a relationship with your group and your circle and the people you let in your room a mile deep and as wide as you can handle for your specific sphere of influence so don't worry about the quality the quantity of people you can touch but worry about the quantity i'm sorry the quality of people you can touch quality is far more important than quantity i think we lost chris again so you know and when i first started networking it was just about how many people i could go talk to how many business cards i could get as I got older and more wise, I realized that, that what Ivan Meisner was saying was, was definitely true. It's just about how many people's lives I can affect, how many people I can help, and to get those relationships to grow over time and really, really deep rooted relationships. So the next thing, if we get Chris back at the pool, is lifelong learning. You know, the more that you learn, the more that you can earn is, is one specific thing. Um, but here he comes. You there, Chris? Yeah, I lost you, dude. Okay, so we've moved past building relationships into lifelong learning. You want to add into that? Life oh, lifelong learning. Yes, you know what's weird? Um, as I was learning real estate, learning, 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 reading books and stuff, when I started going to seminars and I made it a decision to always be learning, always be learning, it attracted me to be able to go to one of those Tony Robbins events. Um, you know, he does those five days events all around the country. I remember you doing that. That's when you started eating nothing but salad with no dressing on it and everything. Yeah, when I saw how animals are being treated and what it does to the body, so on and so forth. I'm, I don't want to get into that. But the people that I met there, dude, they were just winners, Ronnie. I mean, everybody's walking in their bodies, no fat. Faces just looking good. Everybody was just on their game, you know. And it's weird how when I hung out, hang out, hunt, when I hung out in those circles, it almost pulled me to those different types of people. So now I get to interact and talk to those type of people all around the world because I met them there just from going to one event. And I, you know, I got to credit that to my boy Todd, to my boy Smitty, Mr. Smitty. Thanks for letting me come with you on that. But lifelong learning. If you're at those seminars, you're gonna meet a, a like minded people that will bring you up prayerfully that's awesome man that's great you know apart from me chris that i try to keep in mind is you know like just talk about dad for a second you know like dad believes there's only one way to get from point a to point b yeah his way you know what i'm saying 
Yeah. Now, I, we both love our dad, man, but it's like dad's difficult when it comes to, you know, new thinking. And so basically, I'll tell you what, Chris, I start doing trainings and uh, webinars and things on things that I already know. And what I found out is I'm learning new things about the things that I mastered for 20 years, which yeah. is just mind blowing. It's like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like it's an epiphany. You're going through it and you're like, man, I need to remember this and remember to always try and put new information in my brain because yeah. answers change over time. They change over time. You're right. And you forget stuff. It's always good to be reminded, no matter how good you are. Right. Yeah. All right. What's the next one? I'm going to move on to the next one. And guys, shoot questions. Please shoot questions and comments on the side so we can knock them out. This is this is kind of a laid back Friday. <clears throat> traditions and innovation, Ronnie. I love what you were talking about earlier today when you dropped that in my, in my spirit. Traditions and innovation, number four. Okay. So, like, the, the point, the takeaway for me is you've got to have a foundation. All right. Whether it's your business, your family, your relationship, you have to have a foundation that is what you aim to achieve all the time. However, you have to always also be innovating. I'll give you an example in my business. Millennials like I, I remember walking around my office like, how am I going to work with these folks? I don't relate to them in any way, you know, and I don't want to change my business to cater to them. OK, so I have a foundation. I want to maintain that foundation, but I've got to find a way to innovate so that I can work with millennials because they're going to be the only people I have to work with in about 10 years. The baby boomers are starting to get older and the, the millennials are up and coming generations. So it but, you know, that's actually a positive thing because it's challenging me to innovate. Does that make sense, Chris? Yeah, let's. I want to talk about the millennials. What do you mean? You think you're going to have more millennials than baby boomers, I'm presuming? Yeah, man. I mean, the millennials started and it started in a longer than um, than people realize. I mean, millennial. Let me type it up. Millennial generation. Yeah, dude, it started in 81. So people born between 81 and 96, their age is 22 to 37, will be considered a millennial. People born from 97 onward are part of the new generation. So like, okay, you know, so the baby boomers were before 81. Well, actually, I was before 81. I can't remember the name of that one. I think I don't remember. But it's generation old. Generation. Yeah. But yeah. still think about it, man. Those are the folks that are 22 to 37 right now. And you add 10 years onto that, they're going to be 32 to 47. So right in the wheelhouse wow. of buying houses and cars and doing business with lots and lots and lots of people. And it's a really big generation. Wow. Okay. You're right. I never even, you know, I'm glad you dropped that in my spirit because I don't know about you, but I kind of get hard headed. Like, man, I'm going to do it this way. I ain't worried about what everybody else, you know, I'm going to, this is the way I'm going to do business and they need to come on board with me as opposed to thinking, you know what? I, I, I know I'm interdependent. I know I'm interdependent. I'm not independent as I think I might be. I'm interdependent. I need help from other people and I need to, always be trying to get different knowledge from different generations. I think that's a way, good way to look at it, my brother. Yeah, man, I mean, it's a tough one because I, I struggled with this one for a long time, you know, but um, I think I'm more at peace with, let's just find a way to innovate. And we'll make that another video another time on how we are finding ways to innovate with millennials when it comes yeah. to house deals, car deals, whatever type of business you're in. All right, number five is gonna be, this is, this is close to Napoleon Hill too, having a positive and supportive attitude, having a positive and supportive attitude. How is that going to help you attract better people running? It's just magnetic, Chris. Thank you for asking. So I know I've said this in another video, but guys, Chris Haskins was six years older than him. But this guy showed me how to every day reinforce that I had a positive and supportive attitude. Like, but, you know, right now we're talking about people in your room. So Chris is in my room because he has a positive and supportive attitude. Any of you have a friend that every day on Facebook, there's something going wrong, the house is on fire, you know, like no matter what, there's something going on. They just got married yesterday and there's like all kinds of stuff going on the next day with kids or whatever. It's like constant drama. That's a, it's like a, so basically those folks have to stay outside of the room. I'm not saying you can't be friends. 
But, you know, they need to stay outside of the room because that type of energy is taxing on your psyche, your energy and whatnot. So try to keep people in your room that are positive. You know, they know how to break down their blessings. They're grateful. You cannot be, uh, you know, you have to be grateful. You know, my kids are healthy. My wife's happy. <clears throat> Those things are happening. I am really happy today. You know, it doesn't mean I have a million dollars in the bank laying over here on the ground, but kids are healthy. So you guys have to learn how to be grateful for something. And those are the people you want in your room. You know, what's weird, man. I used to have certain people running back. You, I do a lot of smiling. You know, obviously, you know that. But yeah, I smile a lot, man. And I, I've had people come to me and just ask me, why do you smile so much? I don't like you smile too much for me. I'm like, you know what? I don't want I don't need to be around you. I thought it was something that was me at first. Yeah. But as I started reading about business and people that really make big money, they smile a lot and they have a good attitude. Napoleon Hill, Hill says an attractive attitude is one of the seven keys to success. It's magnetic. Um, yeah. Magnetic. That's right. You'd be surprised. You walk up to somebody that's smiling at like this, you're more than likely to get something out of them as opposed to walking up to them like, you know? <laughs> Man, I tried it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I love this next one too. Recognition of other people. Recognition of other people. Ronnie, how does that help attract good people to you? You know what, Chris? This is like one of the biggest things for me is recognizing people around me that are on my team, that are fan of my flames, that are trying to continue to help me grow. You know, we we don't think we need it, but it's a basic human need, the need to be loved, the need to know that you matter. And so like in your world, if you have a contractor, he got the job done on time. I'm not saying it was a perfect job, but he said he was going to start on this date and he got it done on that date. Please recognize him for that. You know, people are so used to people not doing that, that it's just insane. So you got to recognize the people around you that are making a difference in your life by thanking them. So that's that's what I get out of that. And I really love that one. You know, Dan Kennedy says, <clears throat> I don't know if you're familiar with Mary Kay at all with the with the pink Cadillac. Yeah, yeah, I'm very familiar with it. If you've ever seen a Mary Kay representative, you know when they enter the room, right? They've got yeah. the pink thing on the little the medallion on their corner. They've got the pink coat. He's He studied Mary Kay's little, what do they call it? The little tier of Business service model. providers. Yeah. And their biggest thing is recognition, recognizing when people move up the ladder. I love it when I see a Mary Kay person. I always go up to him. I say, hey, I'd like to introduce myself to you because I know the power of recognition, brother. Every time I got a contractor that works for me, does a good job, I'm like, listen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whenever I do business with my, my boy, Ron, he brought me a deal last week. We're going to be closing next week. I'm like, listen, Ron, thank you. I'm telling people about Ron. When we, ever, when we meet, when we do meetings together out in public, I'm introducing to him to other people. Letting, I'm deflecting all of the progress i'm deflecting all of the credit onto ron because the bigger he gets all he's gonna do is pull me up yeah <laughs> he's gonna pull me up yeah i love it you know i don't want to be I, i'm sick of this this is what i'm tired of doing pulling up i want to <laughs> do some of this right i'm gonna just grab the rope and get pulled up you know <laughs> i'm serious the more if, i just wanted to do this listen I'm telling you, Ron brought me a deal last week. All I got to do is this. Hold on to it, and we're off making money, you know? So, yes, the more I'm more, – huh? Fantastic. Yeah, the more I'm dumping in and being grateful for other people, showing him that Ron is the man, and even you, Ronnie, <coughs> interviewing you, showing you that you know what the hell you're talking about. People are literally – tell our viewers, people are showing up at your office, Ryan. Give us a quick 30-second picture of what that looked like the other day. Well, I just had a, a friend, Dustin, he, uh, he's been following you for years on YouTube. And then he found out that we were live and found out I was in Colorado Springs and found me. And then we've been talking about his house deals and how we can help him. Actually, next week, he wants to talk to you on the phone about his specific situation. And I did tell him about VRBO and uh, Airbnb so that you guys can have that conversation. Well, anyway, I think that's the way that we both we get. Well, I, I personally give you application because you know what the hell you're doing, and it's kind of like raising you up with your network. Yeah, it's cool, man. You know, you talk about the Mary Kay thing. We have a, a VP 
of Mary Kay and my BNI group, like we're talking about this BNI stuff, right? She's been yeah. in that chapter for 12 years. I've been in the chapter for 11 years. And yeah, she's got like a director suit that she wears. She's got the car that she earned. I'm telling you. She goes to Vegas. She goes to these places. <laughs> Always about recognition. And Mary Kay, the lady that designed it was on point, man. I mean, that business model is amazing. Like if, <laughs> people, you know, they, they don't know what they're missing out on in that type of organization. Did I lose you again? I think I'm. All right, I'm sorry, Ron. You were telling me about the BNI lady. Start over with her. I missed that. Okay, so Crystal Hoke, she's the BNI lady. She just she's got a suit that she wears. It's a director suit. She's earned that. She's earned a car. She earns trips. They basically always recognize her. She has spoken at these major things in different cities and whatnot. And it's all about recognition. Yeah, so she has a suit. Yeah. Yeah, they have different ones. You can tell who's in the room by the Here's different suits. Huh? You can tell who's in the room by the different suits. Like, so, you know, they have a director suit. They have associates. I mean, whatever the case may be, you can tell. What's weird? Listening, the, the art of listening is lost in our country, man. Where else do people get recognition, right? Where else do the hell, if you do all this shit during the day, you make... Even if you made them, who cares? <laughs> I think the military, like, you know, that's about it. Like, you know, you get your, like, I got awards and I got uh, ribbons. The military is really good with it, you know, but outside of that, I haven't seen it. Yeah, but we, brother, you can go out there, like, for you, you can sell a million cars. I know sometimes I'll do a big real estate deal. You know, I'm walking home with a check. They, I can't, it's, you know. It's so big. I'm like, who, who do you tell? You know, <laughs> who do you, who's yeah. going to pat you on the back? Nobody. I have been doing this for 20 years and I've never been salesman of the year at my own business. <laughs> I probably should just put it on the wall. Salesman of the month. <laughs> but, right. you know, yeah. Recognize the people around you and maybe recognize yourself and go play golf or something like that. Like you're doing. Go, go to the pool and recognize yourself. All right. Let's go. Accountability, Ronnie. Accountability. How does being accountable attract you to uh, to better people? You know, we measure the amount of networking we do. Being accountable is super important. Like, um, hold on, Chris. Let me pull this up. I want to show you this. Like, this is basically one of the ways that we recognize people. Anyhow, you're probably not going to be able to get that up right now. Not that quick. But they, they basically, you have to have some type of accountability in your life. You know, you can't just go willy nilly through life trying to achieve goals and then not measuring those goals. So everybody wants the results, but you have to measure the activity that it takes to get to the results. So that's one thing I love about this networking group. It's a core value of BNI. Dr. Ivan Meisner founded this thing, and they measure how much work you're putting in every month. There's specific categories, how much connecting you're doing, how much inviting to the chapter and bringing new able-bodied people into our team, um, how many absences you have from the group. Like you're not allowed to miss but three in a rolling six-month period. I mean, we are accountable, and you're measured every week how much business you're passing within the group. You know, we're counting the numbers. We're about to hit $2 million wow. in referral business, like just like 2 million bucks in past referrals. Not money that we made, money we gave. Wow. Yeah, money we gave. Remember back to the number one core value, giver's gain? So we track it. We track it down to the penny. And if you're not doing that, we're just standing in the way. If you're not buying something, selling something, uh, Tijuana Jackson said that. You're just standing in the way. What are we doing? Wow. You know, so when we're networking, what are we doing? It's net work. Put that in parentheses, W-O-R-K. You know, we're supposed to be connecting, giving, supporting, wow. bringing people to the chapter, you know, growing it, up, volunteering for different positions in the chapter, all of these things. So, 
you know, if you don't have any accountability in your life or on your team and you're not keeping yourself accountable and the people around you, you're setting yourself up for failure. But accountability kind of sounds like goals. Well, their goals are there. Yeah. Like we, we had a goal for 1.25 million this year and we're at 1.97. So nice. we overshot nice. that. So next year we're probably gonna have to raise that goal. Nice. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, man. What do you have to say about accountability in your world? Well, accountability, I believe, can be both. It can work for you and against you. I want to have the right accountability. I don't want to have somebody. I was, I was watching a video yesterday. It says a millionaire is not going to hang out with a $20,000 guy. <clears throat> if he does, hopefully he's going to, well, it's, it's impossible. He's going to, that millionaire is going to bring up the 20000 a year guy, right? Yeah. So, yeah, the, the accountability goes. If your goals are high, then uh, it, it attracts other people. I always like to I have a philosophy, man, that you got 500, 5,000, 50,000, and 500,000 dollar guys. You know, I want to hang around the 500,000 guys, man, because they pull you up. They yeah. pull you up. And it's not to say you can't create that with some synergy amongst people, but hanging out with the right people and ha accountability is so crucial. Like, I know every Friday, no matter where in the world I am, I'm gonna be on the phone with my brother at 12 o'clock. You know, I think it's so cool that that's accountable. I like that too. I mean, that's important to me. Like, it's it holds me to a set limit. I mean, uh, you know, I got it. I I like this. We definitely need to get better with our technology, but I'm enjoying it so far. I hope the viewers are getting yeah, something out of this. I mean, that's really what yeah. I'm doing it for is to give back. Nice. All right, let me do this. So we we're going to the park. It, the park opens up. It's open till midnight tonight, so let me go through the questions and then I'm gone. All right, man. Family first. Haskins. We got people from Vegas, Cali. What up, Colorado? Andre. Hey, Colorado. Andre Health Heflin. Where are you at, Colorado? In Atlanta. My internet sucks. ATL. I uh, I figured that. Sorry. I'm doing our. We're doing our best. Detroit, Illinois. Okay, Selena Turner. Where are you at, Selena? Can I renegotiate a purchase? price with a builder or should i allow the agent to purchase price with a builder i'm not understanding that selena when you say purchase price is that to buy the building from the builder or is that is the builder and the owner the same person should you allow the agent to do that we'll come back to that one unapologetic american shout oh south boston what up man you know we're from lynchburg yeah unapologetic american we got somebody from south boston right I see that, man. It's unapologetic American. Yeah, I see it. He's like, when are we coming to Boston oh. to throw some money around? Oh, hold on. He might mean South Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, brother. Yeah, we're from the country. Yeah, we're from the country. Tulsa. Wow, that's my boy went to college over there. So, Selena, if you're reading, if you're negotiating anything and it's listed on the MLS. You're not negotiating anything with the seller themselves. You're dealing with the agent. So you're gonna go. You're gonna have to go with the agent. However, what I would do, I, I recommend you, if there's a price difference you want to go back, request a meeting with your agent, the seller's agent, and the seller to be present, so you they can hear your plea. And hopefully, you'll be sincere. If you want to, if you want some more negotiating tactics, I'll put a link here to my book, The Real Estate Negotiating Bible. It'll show you. I think it's 33 ways of getting the seller to come down to your price of negotiating a discount when buying a house. Let's see, Ronnie. That looks like about it. Hey, John McGee, thank you for the shout out, John. Uh, we appreciate that you're getting value out of it in Chicago, Illinois. Thank God. We got Cali. Yeah. Lease options. Do you focus on building seller clientele or buyer clientele? Subject to what Ronnie and subject to that's where we just come in and take over the payments. The house I personally live in is a subject to all we did was come take over the payments. That's the new no money down, if you will, of real estate. You okay. Know, so we don't qualify, we don't qualify for loans. We don't turn in tax returns. We don't turn in FICO scores, credit reports. I don't care about an income statement or financial statement or my credit score. Uh, it's irrelevant to me. It's starting to rain on me. So. You need to focus on sellers. Is that Rosanna? What was it? What was the name, Ronnie? 
Rosanna Jackson. Yeah, she's been with us before. She's out of Cali, man. Yeah. Hey, Rosanna. You need to focus on sellers. As Greg Pinio would say, no one eats without the bird. No one eats without the bird at the table. So find those birds. Get them on the table for Thanksgiving dinner so you can start chopping them up and spreading them around. No, the buyers are, you know, you buyers like me, we are nothing. I, um, I coach real estate buyers like me, cash buyers. We are nothing but sharks in a barrel. Just imagine you got this bucket of sharks, right? If you drop in a little small piece of food, what's going to happen? It's going to be a feeding frenzy. <laughs> it's going to be a frenzy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I tell people all the time, like, look, the deal is, is paramount. Just like a stay-at-home mom loves to go to Walmart and just mosey around. She's looking for the best deal all the time. Buyers like me, all we do is look for deals. You know, as soon as you got it, we'll suck it up. You know, so I wouldn't worry about that. Look for the deal. Focus your your, your seller skills. Anything else, Ryan? Yeah, man. I was gonna put up. You know, I don't have my contact info up, so I was gonna actually share the screen and put it up there. But I don't have my email address up, so we'll have to do it later. Just type what it in it? there. Just type it right. In. Oh, you want me to put it in there for you? If you go to you go to your YouTube. Oh, you know, just go to the oh, link. No, you I got it right here. here. Yeah. Yeah, here go and uh, here's my channel. I'll share the screen. Rosanna, you're concerned with getting in the empire once you get the contract with the seller. I promise you. I promise you. Your in buyer will, if you need coaching or training, your in buyer is the easiest thing to find when you got a subject too. How many people are you going to be able to give the American dream of home home ownership without qualifying for a loan, without turning in tax returns? without showing two months bank statements. All they got to do is give you a down payment and they're a homeowner. Good God almighty. I hope you can feel me on that one. See, that it's, it's, it's very easy to sell those type of deals. Very easy. All right, Ronnie, it's 1230. I'm gone, man. What y'all going to do today, man? Magic Kingdom has a special Halloween party tonight. They shut the whole park down, right, at uh, I think it's 8 o'clock. And you got to pay another fee and you get to go in there and ride all the rides for without a few people being in there they give away candy and they got a halloween parade with uh, mickey what is it dracula mickey he walks around it's real cool not so scary halloween party that's what it's called it's september 21st they're already focusing on halloween the yeah, halloween started after labor day for, for theme parks i see what you're saying so they run that theme all the way through till getting ready for thanksgiving for Halloween, then after that, they do Christmas from November to, to December. Wow, but, man. take a lot of pictures so we can check it out. Yeah, I want to leave some, I want to drop something in the spirit of my viewers, of our viewers. Do something magical, do something magical in your life. What's what's magical in your life, man? I know for me, I like to do when I do my renovations, they are magical. When you walk into them, we got the granite countertops, floors are banging, countertops is. Everything's brand new. New appliances, new paint, new walls, electrical, plumbing, roof, windows, siding, you name it, it's done. I spared no expense. I've learned that from coming to Walt Disney, Ronnie. These guys do. It's the like Jurassic had, Park. Huh? <laughs> it's like Jurassic Park. We spared no yeah. expense. We spared no expense. I saw the guy yesterday. I, I'm, I'm telling you, man, I learned a lot from coming here. The guy was in the pool. They hired a guy with a scrubber. You know, you get in the pool sometimes, you got that black dirt around the perimeter of the pool from the water. Yeah. He's in the pool, Ronnie, with a toothbrush and a scrubber and a spray gun, scraping inside of the pool. He was there all day, Ronnie, cleaning the dirt from the perimeter of the pool. Unbelievable. You know what, man? It's funny you say that. Like, the hospitality industry can teach you a lot. I went to oh. play golf at the Broadmoor like three weeks ago. The Broadmoor is like a five-star hotel is is here in the springs they played the senior open here oh wow yeah man this golf course is is bar none it's the bomb yeah so i'm eating lunch and the lady's like okay well here's the menu um but if you don't like anything our goal is to not say no so if you want pheasant with fowl or whatever you want just let us know and we'll go whip it up now granted if i said i want pheasant and whatever it's probably gonna be like three thousand dollars but you know they were like serious about it they're like if it's not on the menu let us know we'll whip it up we can Our do it to not say no we can do it that's right man i tell the same thing i do with my clients dude i'm like listen i don't know right now but let's see if we can get it done for you even if you're selling their house buying a house from me or somebody that's coaching 
positive attitude, any, buddy. If you don't take anything else away from this video today, do not focus on the problem. Focus on the solution. It'll change your mind. It'll change your life. You know, everybody wants to spend hours talking to their buddies about the problem. I even do it. You know, we all get, and it's it's a vacuum of negative energy. But if you stop and check yourself and go, you know what? That's always going to be a problem. Let's focus on what solutions we have for that problem. You will start seeing those solutions manifest. So focus on the solutions, not the problem. That's right. Solution-based conversation. I love it. Okay, Barney, I love you, my brother. I'm going. I love you too. Have a good day, man. Thank you guys yes, for tuning in. Thanks for the questions. And we'll get the technology back next week. Chris will be back home, and we'll get this kicked off again next Friday. All right, dog. Love you, man. Peace. Love you too. All right.